To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. If the walls of the Beauregard Kai's house could talk, they would tell the story of the city of New Orleans, the stories of generals and immigrants, of writers and prodigies, legends and lore that reverberate through this French Quarter landmark located at 1113 Charter Street. Intended to be a weapons arsenal for the fledgling French colony, the land on which the house stands was granted to the Ursuline nuns upon their arrival from France by the king in 1726. It remained religious land until 1825, when auctioneer Joseph Le Carpentier purchased the property. Eager to display his wealth to his new city, Le Carpentier hired Francois Cordial. Born to refugee parents from the 1791 revolution in Saint-Domingue, Cordial was one of the first native-born Americans to find success as an architect in New Orleans. To this day, this classically detailed house, with its rare combination of Creole and American features, stands out in a city famous for its architecture. But what makes this house even more distinctive is the famous residents who called it home. Le Carpentier's grandson was Paul Morphy, the youngest world-famous chess master. In 1908, the house was home to the Giacona family from Sicily, whose growing wholesale liquor business was threatened by extortionists, dubbed by the newspapers as the Black Hand. Demands by this early iteration of the Mafia were finally answered by the Giaconas on the house's back porch, where three men who had made the threats were fatally shot. The two most famous residents of the Beauregard Kai's house are the house's historical namesakes. Confederate General P.G.T. Beauregard rented the home as he put his life back together after the Civil War and the death of his wife, who passed away in New Orleans while he was in battle. Beauregard became president of the New Orleans, Jackson, and Great Northern Railway and became an outspoken leader of the short-lived and ultimately failed Equal Rights Unification Movement. In 1945, Extremely popular and prolific author Frances Parkinson Kyes was drawn to the house. She immediately began to renovate her French Quarter Muse. And here, she penned many of her novels, including Dinner at Antoine's and The Chess Player, which is about Paul Morphy. Mrs. Kyes died at the house in 1970. The Kyes Foundation she established continues to operate the house as a museum and event venue. And in doing so, the Beauregard Kai's House and Garden still tells the tales of this city to all who visit this National Historic Landmark. I'm Tom Gregory, and this has been your New Orleans Tricentennial Moment. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection. Additional support provided by the Gale and Tom Benson Charitable Foundation.